Holler if you can't see what I'm showing here. All right. Everybody see the PowerPoint? Perfect. All right. This is indeed Introduction to Geology. That's not what you're expecting. You're now in Introduction to Geology. Okay. Um, and here I am, your fearless leader, John Van Regenmorter. You can just call me John or Professor or whatever, you know, simple for you. Um, a little bit about me. Got my uh, bachelor's degree at a little place down the street called Grand Valley State University. And then I earned a collection of master's degrees at uh, Western Michigan and CU Boulder in geology and biological anthropology and GIS, which is the stuff that runs Google Earth and Google Maps and that kind of stuff. A right. little bit about me. Uh, I do love all the wonders of geology. And I've been into fossil collecting in particular from a very young age. Well, well, that's not me. That's actually my son when he was one years old, collecting his very first dinosaur, a triceratops. Okay, so I cheated. I knew where one was, and I just kind of put him there until I eventually collected it. But that works. And then uh, I started my first uh, experience in geology in high school. And as you can see, we've all had some bad ideas in the past. Right. Oh, well. <laughs> so what do I do? What I do is high resolution spatio-temporal correlations. You need to know nothing about that. But basically, all of these little dots here, these are all fossil localities, uh, places where we found fossils. And what I do is I go back in and do the geology um, associated with the fossils. So then we can take these and all these lines here, me walking up and down and all over the cliffs and following these particular beds that we can trace out for a long distance, these beds of rock. Uh, and then doing that, we can then take these, uh, these different fossil localities and put them into order, right? So here's one that's Aaron's Ant Hills. Here's Lightning Park. Here's um, Stromatolite Limestone, right? So all of these are uh, fossil localities. Now we can put these in order and we can study evolutionary trends that happen um, as, they, as they do that. Uh, and what that is really called is sedimentology and stratigraphy. Um, so that's really what I do out in the field. But I do love fossils, all sorts of fossils, uh, mammals in particular, but I am not opposed to any fossils. And I know in the movies, right, uh, fossil collecting is always glamorous and glorious. But here's what it is in real life is uh, crawling around on your hands and knees in the desert looking for tiny bones. Right. I've also done a lot of research here in West Michigan, including fish poop in the gypsum mines. Yes, we have gypsum mines underneath Grand Rapids here. They were important to our early industry in Grand Rapids. Uh, but in these gypsum mines, they have to have also saw all sorts of fossils, uh, including fish jaws, uh, and then uh, fossil fish poop, which I did a, uh, a research paper on. It's a pretty crappy paper, I guess. But other things I'm into, I do archeology, span human and private evolution, geographic information systems, of course. I love studying mass extinctions and their impact on evolution uh, and minerals. I love collecting minerals as well. I've got a pretty good mineral collection going myself here. So um, now let's get a little into the class itself, right? Uh, the lecture is delivered asynchronously, right? So that means, you know, beyond today in our little meeting here, uh, for lecture, you don't have to be uh, present at any specific time, right? Videos are posted online for you to watch. There are weekly uh, reading assignments for you to do, that kind of stuff, right? But labs, on the other hand, are held on Wednesdays, right? Not every Wednesday. For example, this Wednesday, uh, the lab will be online. But next week, we will all show up for lab on Wednesdays. And since I do have to break the class up, uh, last names uh, beginning with A through L show up at 7.45 a.m. And we go to 9.10. And then... Last names M through Z show up at 9.15 and we go to 10.45. Uh, again, that's not every Wednesday. I'll try to remind you weekly when we have labs. But So not this first Wednesday, but next Wednesday, I will see you all in person in the lab, right? For the rest of the materials, the weekly assignments, everything is due Sunday nights at 11.59 p.m. just to leave it, you know, nice and simple, right? However, I do... Uh, hope that you look at some of the material before you come in for the lab so you get kind of a basic idea of what's going on. Right. Do we have questions at all so far? 
I do hold virtual office hours as well. Mondays, 3 to 4 p.m. Or by appointment, just let me know. Shoot me an email or something. Uh, and we can schedule um, that via Zoom, right? Uh, and there is a required uh, textbook for this book, uh, course. Uh, it's Exploring uh, Geology, Connect Access, 5th edition. I'll show you how to get to that in just a little bit. We will be doing... Uh, work on this digital textbook. Uh, there is ho weekly homework assignments on there um, related to each chapter. And um, uh, that can be accessed right through our, our Blackboard webpage, right? Uh, and then access to a laptop or desktop with, you know, download capabilities, right? Let's break down the points in this course. There are 11 lab activities. I will drop your lowest lab activity automatically. So whether that's like a 19 out of 20 or uh, uh, you decided that you just don't want to do that lab that week and you, you have too much going on or whatever, you do have one free give me, right? Uh, so 200 points total there, 20 points each. Smart book chapters, again, you can drop one. I'll drop your lowest score there automatically. Um, they're 10 points each, 15 chapters, 150 points, right? Uh, participation and homework. This is gonna include uh, weekly discussion boards, uh, homework, watching the videos, that kind of thing. That's 240 points. Uh, and we have two midterm exams. They will be digital. They will be online. Uh, they're 130 points each, total 260 points. And the final exam, 150 points. Notice it's not that much more than a normal midterm exam. So the final exam will be mostly new material, with just a little bit of stuff from the previous uh, exams. Uh, big points and that kind of stuff, right? Goals for this class. Let's expand your knowledge and interest in our planet, the processes that work, that shape our world, that affect our world, right? And we can see all sorts of examples of those in the news just in the last couple of days, right? Earthquakes in Haiti. We got the uh, Hurricane Ida that just smashed Louisiana, right? All of those are, you know, processes that help shape our planet. Right? Develop an understanding of the scientific process, be able to apply it to life and understand what science is and what science isn't, right? I think this is on all, every syllabus everywhere, develop critical uh, thinking and analytical skills. So we'll do that too. Uh, and then teach upcoming new geology majors. I don't know if I have any geology majors in this class, but that is uh, an important aspect of this. This is the first step. Not only is it just a... Uh, uh, it's a science of the lab credit, but it's the first step for geology majors. So um, my other goal is to recruit new geology majors. So if you feel like I'm trying to convince you to become a geologist, I just might be, right? So one of these things we have are called smart books or connect. Uh, and this is what we'll be doing our weekly chapter homework assignment through. Uh, so I just don't want to run this uh, introductory video just to show you and give you an idea of what the smart books is. It's kind of an adaptive learning system um, that will hopefully. Okay. Those emotions, they were put on hold by time. By there we go. Welcome to the Smart Book video series. In this first video, the Smart Book Overview, we are going to take a look at how Smart Book works and how you will use it. But first, what is Smart Book? Smart Book is a digital version of your textbook. But unlike a traditional ebook, Smart Book is an adaptive reading and learning experience that actively tailors the content to your individual needs. And what better way to learn about Smart Book than to see it in action? So let's jump into a sample Smart Book chapter and take a closer look. The very first time you launch a Smart Book chapter reading assignment, Smart Book is going to load and then take you to how your performance compares to other students reading the same Smart Book. You can enter an alias or just check the box to remain anonymous. Now you'll find yourself on the first page of that assigned chapter. In this example, we're in a psychology Smart Book and I was taken to page one of chapter one. By default, the chapter preview panel on the left will be open so that you can explore the key topics and see how the chapter is organized. When you are ready to start reading, just close the preview panel by clicking this icon here. Reading with Smartbook involves three phases, read, practice, and recharge. And each of these critical phases will be covered in more detail in separate videos in this series. 
The first two phases, read and practice, work together and are how you will progress through and ultimately complete any given chapter reading assignment. As the name implies, the read phase is the heart of the reading experience and where you will begin. What's unique to SmartBook is that by using yellow highlighting, SmartBook is going to call out the most impactful concepts, which will save you valuable time. Once SmartBook recognizes that you have read enough content in a chapter, the practice icon here in the lower left will start to glow. This is SmartBook's recommendation that it is a good time to practice what you have read so far. When you are ready, just click the practice button to move into the practice phase. By asking questions and measuring your confidence in your answers, the practice phase will quiz you along the way to help you master the key concepts. This information helps the adaptive technology in SmartBook create a personalized learning path just for you. Once you have answered enough questions in the practice phase, the read button will start to glow, directing you back to the read. Good thing to mention at this point, when you're going through this practice phase, you know, as it says on the bottom, how confident are you about your answer, right? Uh, make sure you're uh, honest with yourself about this because this is how it knows what you still need to learn and this is how it adapts to you in particular. I don't see any of this. All I get is your score at the end of the day. Um, all right, continue. Stage. Continue moving back and forth between the reading practice as you work through and ultimately complete the chapter. It is important to remember that to get full credit for any chapter reading assignment, you need to complete all learning items in the practice phase before the assignment due date. Now, let's take a look at some of the other functionality you have available. Moving to the upper left hand, you'll see these three horizontal lines. If you click on this icon, it's going to open up the left panel of your smart book, revealing some navigation options available. The table of contents reveals two tabs. The assignment tab lists only the required chapters that have been assigned by your instructor in your course. You can also track your chapter assignment progress here. The self-study tab lists all chapters of your smart book, including those chapters that are not assigned in your course, but are made available to you as optional reading. The reports button is where you will find helpful reports that will not only help you track your reading comprehension and assignment completion progress throughout your course, but will also help you study more efficiently. We'll cover this in a separate video as well. And finally, the last phase of smart book is recharge. From your assignments tab, clicking on a completed chapter you have already read will launch recharge. Recharge looks like practice, but here you'll be periodically asked to recharge or review key topics from previous chapters that you have already completed to help push that content into long-term memory. Recharging is a powerful tool to help you get better grades on quizzes and exams in your course. That completes the SmartBook overview video. Be sure to watch the other videos in this series, and thank you for watching. We wish you success in your course. Okay. Excellent. All right. Let's see here. Let me stop screen share for a second. All right. So that's just kind of a, a brief overview of the course. And now what I want to do is jump into our actual Blackboard site and uh, and show you that and start getting you uh, kind of a, a familiarized with that. Uh, any questions at this point, though, before we go to the, the Blackboard page? I have a question. Yes. So if I have like a copy of the textbook, but I don't have an access code, do I have to buy an access code to be able to use that? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, cool. you know, so um, at the bookstore, there should be a a um, a package that has the a copy of the like a loose leaf print copy of the textbook. If you're like me and you can't stand reading things online. Um, otherwise, the easiest way to get the textbook is like I'm just going to show you right now when we go into our into our Blackboard page. But any other questions at the moment? All right, let's do the screen share again and jump right into our Blackboard page. So here we are in our wonderful Blackboard. Usually this will open up to announcements for you, right? I've already posted, uh, obviously you found the first day Zoom meeting announcement. Uh, and then our lab schedule I posted the other day. Um, but generally this is gonna be where we access all of our materials for class. 
uh, except when we're in person for lab, then I'll, I'll print up materials that you need for that. Um, but here we go. So it's kind of everything you need for this class is right here. Everything will be accessible right through this assignment tabs. And you notice there are two assignments available or two, two folders available. Orientation, then I just made the week one folder available. Both of these are due this Sunday by 11.59 p.m. So let's jump into the orientation folder and take a look here, All right? So the first thing is watch Blackboard orientation videos or show up to this one, right? Review the syllabus and schedule. You click on that, it'll take you directly to the syllabus and schedule. Check those out in particular notice on our schedule, I have posted here when we need to show up in person. So assignments like uh, this week, right? Uh, the lab is online. Next week, it will be in person, right? Uh, and then we don't have a lab the third week and the fourth week our lab on plate tectonics will be in person as well. Um, and then I think I might switch this to online, but uh, it does show you exactly when everything is uh, uh, what's do that week, right? And then over here, uh, you know, our, our learning outcomes and goals and, and everything for that, for that week, right? But back to our assignments here. So in orientation, there is also um, a spot then to introduce yourself. I think a few people have already done this, right? Posted a little bit. Hello about yourself and introduce you to the class, right? Um, and this is, uh, you know, uh, let's see, where did I go? There I am, right? Down at the bottom there. Feel free to post pictures and to comment and stuff on here, but this is just a little blog to introduce us all to each other. Uh, it is graded, so you do need to participate. That's five points, right? Um, whoops, wrong button. Assignments, orientation. And then um, connect orientation. Actually, I might move this to the top here, so it's very first. But this will take you to not only the orientation assignment, which is watching some of these videos about connect, but it will also take you directly to, well, mine won't because I'm already in there, but it should take you directly to a page that will allow you to log in uh, and, uh, and sign up and, and or if you've got a code to put your code in right there, right? Um, but, uh, but that is where you will access kind of everything for the week. And then there's just a little five point, take the syllabus and schedule quiz, right? And this is kind of how each week is gonna be set up. So that's the orientation that's due by Sunday night. Also due by Sunday night is week one, right? So there's a little orientation into week one, right? Uh, again, the Learn Snark chapter. So this is, you'll click on here, it'll take you directly to uh, Smart Books or Connect, right? Where you can then start the, uh, start the uh, uh, assignment, right? Watch introductory videos, right? So we'll click on here. There'll be a nature of science video that's required. There's a couple points that you gather by watching the video and answering the embedded questions. And then the same thing for the introduction to the geosciences. So uh, again, we'll have, first of all, read the book, then watch the videos, right? And then so again, this first lab on density this week is online, you click on there. Here's the lab itself. And then to enter your answers, all you have to do is click on lab one answers and it'll take you directly to what it says a test, but it's basically just where you, uh, um, answer the questions for lab one that are in the lab assignment. Right? And then after that, discuss the introductory material. This is an important part of each week. Uh, since we aren't meeting in person for the lectures, um, we will be doing a discussion board. Each week is worth 10 points and you must participate two separate days each week. So at least one post on two separate days, right? To get full full credit. Um, and any of these counts, so we have lab one questions, questions you have on lab one, right? Uh, introductory chapter questions, just basic chapter, you know, questions about the chapter. Uh, and then I'll always have kind of an open-ended question as well um, uh, that you can answer as well. For example, how has science been portrayed in our society? Can you think of any specific examples? How might science be used or misused in our world, right? So what counts for um, posting is posting your own response to, to anything I have here or 
uh, posting a response to something somebody else said, right? Um, but again, it's two separate days of the week, right? Not two posts Sunday at 11 o'clock p.m., right? Um, I want you to be engaged throughout the week in the discussions that are going on in these uh, in these discourses. So make sure you spend at least two days, right? You have to, so a minimum of two posts, but on two separate days, not two posts on the same day. So hopefully that is clear, all right? And then, so we get there again, just a little five point uh, quiz on the material for that week. Uh, and just a hint, you may want to pay attention to the questions that are in these uh, introductory, in, in these quizzes, these weekly quizzes. Uh, because they will show up again on the exams, right? So basically, that'll be our, our weekly uh, uh, stuff, right? So you'll do the uh, online, the connect, right? Do the chapter, answer the questions. And once again, um, you have until Sunday night, 11.59 p.m. to get as far as you can in these. If you get 100%, then you're at 100%, right? So it doesn't matter what questions you answer right or what questions you answer wrong just as long as you eventually get through and, and cycle through and answer all the, the questions correctly, you'll get your 10 out of 10 points. However, if you've only completed like 80% of it by Sunday night, it will give me the grade, you know, at Sunday night, and then you can continue working on it, but it won't update it on my end. So whatever you get done in those weekly chapters by, you know, 11.59 PM on Sunday night is what you'll, you'll get recorded. Watch the videos again required for points, right? Complete a lab, either in person or online. Discuss the materials and then take the quiz, and that'll be kind of the setup for each week, right? So read, watch videos, complete lab, discuss materials, and quiz. will be kind of our, our general, general thing, right? And then we have resources available as well. So now you can access the video lectures, the labs, and the discussion boards all directly through here as well, or just access them simply through the assignments and the weekly folders, right? Uh, some other resources we have available, syllabus and schedule are here, right? Virtual office hours, you, uh, uh, you wanna visit me for virtual office hours or you set up a, a, uh, a time with me, just click on that tab, it'll take you directly to my, uh, my Zoom meeting room, right? And then another important thing here, exam reviews, right? I have exam reviews posted, well, double posted, I guess, for all of the uh, exams. Um, I'm not sure why they're double posted, but I guess I'll just delete them for now. Anyway, so now they're just single posted. So let's say, let's take a look here at this first uh, exam review here, all right. And you'll take a look. Oops. Right. And we'll notice that this first one, it's 10 pages long, right? For the first exam. Now that's a huge review, but look at these, they're very, very specific questions, right? So understand the scientific process. What are theories? What are laws and models? What are the lithosphere? What's the athenosphere, right? Very specific, right? uh for uh stuff we'll be talking about uh for this first exam right now if you look at this the night before the exam you're gonna hate me right but if you follow through while you're working on each chapter and you answer these questions well then don't you have just a handy dandy little cheat sheet right there when you're doing the exam uh to figure things out right um so i would suggest highly to fill this out as you go right uh, even though this is very long, uh, it is very explicit, and I can guarantee you that there's nothing on the exam that is not explicitly in the study guide, right? So take a look at those early, take a look at those often, right? Um, let's see, uh, information on getting a hold of me, again, it's double posted for some reason. Uh, help you might need on smart books, right? Uh, here's the support hotline, right? Uh, how does register for connect through Blackboard if you haven't already done that? Again, just click on the assignments. Um, and then some GRCC uh, links as well uh, to help you out there. Right. Um, 
So that kind of concludes my little whirlwind tour of our uh, of our class there. Uh, what kind of questions do you have for me on on the uh, material or the class? Or life in general, I guess. I don't know. Good. Well, I am always accessible through um, through a, um, email. So you can always hit me up through email, right? I got me Mondays. I'll be sitting on Zoom uh, from three to four p.m. Uh, if uh, if you if that doesn't work for you, you can always schedule another time with me. So again, this first week we are not meeting in person on Wednesday, right? Everything's online this first week. We got the orientation and all the materials in that orientation folder and the materials in that week one folder. Those are all due this Sunday by 11.59 p.m. Right. No questions? If not, I thank you for joining up and uh, I will see you uh, around then. All right. Actually, I have one question. Yes. What is your question? Um, so I did get the... Uh the geology book in for in person they wrote a code on there is that what i use for online yes yeah yeah mm -hmm. all right yep i should just yep, plug right in all right yep. thank you absolutely anyone else going once i have one question yes so we have two lab data what if like i'm confused something about the lab on um, my class can i go to the second one or only attend one no so you can uh so so your last name starts with a t so you'll be at the second half so you show mm -hmm. up at uh 9 15 a.m yeah yeah, yeah. Like, i mean like what if like i'm not understand the first one can i go to the first one and the second one if that possible or no Oh yeah, no, yeah, you can. So yeah, if you if you're having problems with the first lab, you can always hit me up, or we can discuss it like you know next week when we're in person or something. But or you can just you know hit me up via email or something, and we can try to work it out too. So. Oh, cool. Thank okay. you. Good. Yes. Yep. Mm -hmm. All righty, folks. Have a great afternoon. Have enjoy the first days of class. <laughs> All right. Lovely. Take it easy. Yep.